Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome to my channel. In my last video, I had shown you how to operate Formsul Multiphysics. Besides, I have told you that I have used the version 5.0. So, I guess all of my friends can operate this software. So, today I will show you a design of a simple photonic crystal fiber and for growing structure the following parameters are lambda is equal to 1.55 micrometer lattice constant or pitch is equal to 2 micrometer air hole diameter is 1.2 micrometer and here 5 rings are considered We will design like this structure. If we notice, we can see that uh, for first layer, we have used six points for making a hexagonal structure. For second layer, we have used six points for making hexagonal structure. So we can understand that uh, for making a hexagonal structure, we need six points and in Wormsul multiphysics we have represent these six points by air holes so now we will go to the main structure here we have used these parameters lambda pitch cladding diameter and all the parameters uh, we have taken in micrometer range in component option there is uh, geometry and in geometry there is a option length unit before going to design a structure you have to uh, make it micrometer length so now we will take a circle for the design where the radius will be d by 2 and the center is 0 x is 0 and y is also 0 And we have made the first air hole. Then we will take the second air hole. And the second air hole will be in 30 degree position. Then x axis will be like this. And y axis will be like this. Then we have to multiply a pitch. So, we have to understand what is pitch. Pitch is the distance in between our two air holes. So, we made the second air holes in 30 degree position. And the third air holes made in 90 degree position in this picture if we notice we can see properly that there the points remains in 30 degree position and 90 degree position like this we take these two points now we can mirror uh, the air holes of 30 degree we can also uh, take these points uh, by manually in 150 degree position uh, so how can we get this option in geometry there remains transforms options and if you click this then you can see a mirror option and we take this 
mirror option. Then you can rotate then this three air holes. So this is our first layer. Now we will take the air holes for second layer. Then in similar way we take uh, the uh, other air holes uh, same as before like, uh, like this in 30 degree position or 90 degree position. So we take this in 30 degree position this circle in 90 degree position so we can see in between 30 degree position and 90 degree position there remain a gaps so we can take another <coughs> air holes in between these two air holes and how can we take this air holes we can take this air holes like this then in similar way we mirrored these two air holes then rotate these air holes we can see there remains a gaps so we can take another air holes in between them like this we take a mirror or rotate for time consuming we can take uh, the air holes in manually but for time consuming we take uh, mirror and uh, rotate option for third layer we take this in 90 degree position then the other air uh, a circle is in 30 degree position now in between them there remains gaps and we can put uh, our two air holes in between them like this and take the mirror in similar way then we can rotate them and there remains also gap in between them so we take uh, other air holes Then the fourth layer is started. We take the air holes as before. then we take the mirror of those air holes and rotate them again then we notice that <coughs> there remains also gaps and we can take these air holes like this
in mirror it then the fourth layer is also completed then we will go in fifth layer for fifth layer we take x axis like this and y axis like this in 30 degree position and next in 90 degree position so in between 30 degree and 90 degree position we take one two three four four air holes and calculate them like this like this and mirror them like before and also rotate them like before then we take the air holes in between them like this like this mirror them our fifth layer is also completed so now this circle is taken at the radius is 2 into tpml in parameters TPML is 5.500 meter and PML is 4.3 micrometer. We will take this circle and the final circle is like this and this portion is for works as PML so what is PML perfect match layer the function of this layer is to truncate all reflection that will be going outer direction from inside the computational area that means it will absorb all reflections and help to confine light. So friends, we have made the <coughs> this structure for a hexagonal structure and we can we can make code like this by, by removing these air holes yes so this is our code and these are the cladding region and this is the PML portion so friends in the next video i will show you the simulation of this structure so friends if you like this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification and if you face any problem about this video then comment without hesitation thank you